figs grow very, very quickly here in North Carolina. This one got really big and it was leaning against the chicken coop and it was happy because the chickens were providing it with nitrogen and uh, the figs were growing like crazy. But the ants were coming in and taking it on. And so I asked one of my buddies what to do about it. And he said there's different processes, different materials you can put around the trunk of the tree that would prevent the ants from getting up it. But he said, well, you can just take Vaseline. That'll work just fine. And I said, well, that's a good idea. So I got a jar of Vaseline. I came out and I put it around the trunk of the tree. And sure enough, it stopped the ants. But the problem was the next year when it was time for the tree to grow, the Vaseline, a petroleum product, had killed the bark. So the tree girdled itself right where I put the Vaseline. And I told my friend, I said, why'd you tell me that? He said, Will, you weren't supposed to put it on the bark. You put tin foil around it and put it on the tin foil. So again, I had to learn something. Now the good thing about a fig tree is that you can cut it back almost every year and it'll re-sprout and actually grow figs on the re-sprouts. And in fact, the one you see in the background, it's gotten fairly tall, so it's more difficult to harvest from it. Next year, I'm gonna cut it back fairly radically so that when it, it reshoots and the figs come out on the new shoots, I can harvest it just by standing on the ground. One of the interesting things about figs is that they are susceptible to winter burn and that means that the the ground is frozen when the sun comes up and in the winter the sun comes up in the southeast so the sun will hit a tree and it will start the process of evapotranspiration pulling the water through the tree if the ground is frozen water cannot get up into the tree itself in order to go through the process. So what happens is the tree gets what is known as winter burn. So interestingly enough, with all fruits and vegetables needing as much sun as possible, my recommendation on where to plant a fruit tree is on the northwest corner of a building, which is fairly heavily shaded usually. So this particular fig tree is exactly in the right location. The neighbor's garage is right there. We're on the northwest corner of the tree. So when the sun rises in the winter in the southeast, this tree is in shade until almost noon. So there's plenty of time for the ground to thaw and the natural process is to get underway before the sun hits the tree and therefore to prevent what is known as winter burn.